welcome you to the Pan American Center in line. And M State trying to go to five and one on this season in the opening tap is won by Marcus Brown. And he lays so two last cruises for them. Certainly a great opportunity for the Cowboys. This is an exhibition game for them this year, Joe, and they get two chances this year to play Division One. That is it. Right, and, and they're going to take advantage of both those chances. You say it's an exhibition game, but it's not an exhibition game to them. As Johnny puts the three up. Brown is collected by Marcus Brown, who scored the first deuce for the Cowboys from New Mexico Highlands. Longer range three is way off the mark for... And he's going to look to do something here in Cruces. Johnny McCants as well knows Sammy Barnes Topkins very well. Johnny spent a year in school, in high school at Onyate with Barnes Topkins. Here's Bryce Sanchez. He's off the market, box out for McNair. Johnny Tillman. Tillman coming off a great game in Myrtle Beach. Bryce gets Sanchez in the air and he flushes it one guard. I do, I, and I like him better as a two guard, actually. Um, he can play the point guard, but I think he really excels slashing to the basket, and, and you'll see here. We'll see if we see Nate Pryor tonight, somebody who transferred in from Washington but hasn't played yet this year. Teddy Allen finds McCants. He couldn't quite catch it. And it's nice pump fake right there. Go finish. Nice. Rice on the curl, launches from three, missed it shallow. Kept alive by Will McNair. Very well. There he is right there. Go get the ball every time. Hug there from Sanchez. Inbound pass goes to Allen. He triggers a three. McNair grabs the offensive rebound. And the Aggies have a fresh 20. One for four start for the Aggies from the field. McCants is wide open. That might have been on the scouting roll. I think they want to prove that they can make them make threes. The Aggies are shooting 38% from distance so far this year. Averaging 10 made threes per game. The putback for hard every possession. Second free throw for Barnes. Topkins is good. Get it across. As we mentioned, he's playing more point guard this year. It is a much bigger lineup when he's in there at the point, though. Mid post extended McCants. Defended by Adams. Lobs it down low, good positioning, and one for Donnie. Great pass by Johnny right there, that interior passing. Donnie just goes and finishes with the contact. Um, I think he's definitely gotten better this year, um, throughout the years. Uh, and and he's really, really worked on his game, I like it. Here's Brown, who throws it away near Eddie Allen. The Aggies' top scorer this year. Allen gets it back from Rice. Right back to Jabari, they swing it for Peak. Again, giving it to Johnny on the block. Johnny going to work on Adams, spins, stays patient, and he flips it in off the glass. Long range three, spins off for Barnes. Touch it in. Corner entry is tapped out here on the near sideline. Great move, good patience by Johnny McCants. Exactly, it's good patience and, and it's just a strong move. We were talking about that earlier. It seems like he's been here forever. Right, you right. played two years with Johnny McCants. One of them was his red shirt year, but you were here playing when Johnny was here early on. Chi-Chi Avery finds McCants, and he lost the... We'll keep digging for that. Here's Desmond Carpenter with it for Division II New Mexico Highlands. Carpenter, long range three. McCants right there. Rice a transition triple, that's way off, and Carpenter clears. Cherry picking was Barnes Topkins. He tries. A little sloppy early. Allen pokes it away from, I should say, Brown pokes it away from Allen. Here's Teddy Allen going to work. Rumbles down the lane and he floats it in. The program that is averaging 98 points per game this season. They're four and one coming in. New Mexico Highlands, a quick turnaround from their game last night in Las Vegas, New Mexico against Oklahoma Panhandle. They had a 44 point win last night. Here's Christmas. His three misfires. 
Cross-court feed is tapped out of bounds. In ten Division One or Division Two player? He was. He was. You can tell. Um, right away, you can just tell his, his body and his physicality. Great pass right there by Jabari. Brown. Yeah, he's been at Odessa College and Boston College before arriving in Las Vegas, New Mexico. A miss point blank range for Christmas. Tillman leads the break. He finds Chi Chi Avery, who slams. Chi Chi ultra athletic out of Richmond, Virginia. Only a freshman. Andre Adams will spot up. His jumper is off. Andre Adams, another one of those power five transfers. He was at Arizona State, actually played against the Aggies back in 2016 while he was with ASU. McNair throws it away. Carpenter and Barnes Topkins beat the Aggies down the floor. And it's Desmond Carpenter. He run. Allen on the dribble drive. Extra pass, low block for Tillman, right back out to Teddy. Good ball reversal for Chi Chi Avery. Collects his own miss, and he finishes again. Barnes Topkins to the rim. His wraparound pass is stolen by Allen. Squirts out to Chi Chi Avery, who's playing well off the bench. Avery's athleticism on full display here in the first half. Allen trying to break down Barnes Tompkins, leaves it off. Will McNair flips it in. Yeah, great times for threes when they can get to the basket like that and score easy buckets. And this lineup right here, Joe, it is big. When you have Jabari Rice at the point, it is a very, very big lineup. A lot of mismatches on defense, and I think they need to exploit those. 15 to 2 Aggie run. No good for very well from the arc. 47% in the first five games this year. Carpenter a step back three over Tillman. And Jabari Rice will get to run the point. Rice with a floater, he banks it in. Good patience. Have to do it all. He's gonna have to do it all every night. Play the point guard, rebound, and then like you see here, he's gonna have to play defense every possession. Dribble drive for Marcus Brown. Put back good for the left-hander. Just like Johnny McCants, he's been around for a while. Rice passes up the three, Avery again. A lot of open looks for the Yagis from three. Four early for Chi Chi Avery. The team though from the field. Mario McKinney Jr. defends Carpenter. First action tonight for Mario. LeVar Williams guards Christmas here, also his first action. Tyler Rogers swings it, a sideline three is good, or run a handful of years ago. This could be a very important game tonight for Mario McKinney, who's trying to get back on track after a tough week in Myrtle Beach. Pop out three for Tillman. Rebound for Christmas. McKinney. With a steal, two R and two, he lobs it for Avery, and Chi Chi couldn't quite hit. There it is, great pass. Mm, you gotta put that one down. Me both. I'm sure it's a lot of fun. <laughs> you and me both. Chi Chi Avery just oozes athleticism. Talented young freshman from Virginia. He already has two dunks in this game tonight. And that screen is for New Mexico Highlands. He's 6'10", 245. And oh, yeah, he clipped him with the hip right there. Got to stay set. You don't always see. They want to prove why they were at that Division I level at one point. Aggies ahead by nine, just over 10 minutes in. Low post entry to Teddy Allen, working on Christmas. Inside, outside for McKinney. The Aggies whip it around for McCants. Cleared. And again, I think the Aggies are just settling for threes when they can when they can get to the basket, move the ball around, and, and let's get to the basket. Aggies double team Johnson having some issues, picks up his dribble, tosses out for Christmas, and he buries the straightaway triple. Scoreless drought, almost three minutes for the Aggies. Williams three pointer blocked. 
It's a two-possession game. Here's Tyler Rogers, who's a left-hander, and he misses. No sign of tired legs so far for New Mexico Highlands. They played just over 24 hours ago, five hours away. Shot clock down to 10. McKinney on the dribble drive. Back out for Tillman. He'll trigger in for the Highlands bench, and he spins off the three. McCants the offensive rebound. Allen for three. Tipped out by McCants, collected by McKinney. He'll fire, and he buries it. They struggled from three two games ago against Utah State, especially in half one. Good steal. McKinney rips it away. Carpenter behind him. Layup no good, but he'll shoot two. Cool in St. Louis. Mario McKinney, a three off the bench. He'll shoot two free throws when you come back. for doing that. He's really worked on his game, and you can see now being here in his last... Helpers for McCants tonight, doing a little bit of everything again. Averaging seven points, five rebounds, blocking shots at a high clip. Christian said, a couple of weeks ago he said, when Johnny's on the floor, I feel comfortable. And I think that's one of the biggest compliments a head coach can give to a player. Right, and you, and you want to be able to have someone on the court that gives you that feeling. And especially like a night tonight when he's not able to be here, Johnny's to be so well that he doesn't have to score much, right, Joe? He doesn't. He just has to be out there on the floor and play his role. And and for Johnny right now. Out of Seattle a number of years ago, played one year at Washington, now in his season here with the Aggies as a junior, the first of two for Nate Pryor here in the Crimson and White. He's been dealing with a hip flexor injury for a long time, so he's finally getting back to healthy and able to suit up and play tonight. One to shoot for Rice, he has to heave. He got rim, Sanchez wipes it off the window, and cherry picking here is Brown. Around a Euro step and a finish, right-handed. Um, and like and we talk about them having such a big lineup, they need to take advantage of that and be able to get to the basket. This is a big lineup again. Pryor goes six foot three listed. He's a big guard. McCants outside for Pryor. Six to shoot for Teddy Allen. Rice whips a pass for Mike Peake, and that spins off. McCants was cracked. He is still down underneath on the other side of the basket. McCants is up. He's back in the play now. A three. Good for Marcus Brown, who half one. Pryor on the exchange, outside for McCants. No help defense here, McCants spins and a foul is. And I think this is, this is the advantage the Aggies have. They're bigger, they're stronger, they need to do that, and they can do that every single time. Pryor will trigger, gets it in for Teddy Allen, who's only scored two so far, make it four now for from Nebraska. And he has that ability to get to the basket. I like when he uses the hop step. He has the floater off both legs. I like Teddy's game. He's a very creative scorer. A little different than most. And he'll stay with lighting it up out there. Inbound pass goes to Adams, and he will shoot. And goes out there, and he wins you the basketball game. Right, right. They, and, and they're going to need that from, from him. I think he's one of their better shooters. Uh, and there's going to be times where he's going to have to make that. Nice little, Aggie Dobo. nice little NMSU connection yes. out there, right, in Kuwait. That's one of the best PGs I've ever seen. He's training again before he heads back overseas. Getting the point, I think eventually it's going to be Pryor and McKinney, but right now it's more than anybody else. Right, and, and it's very important. Jabari is doing a great job. Uh, At that point guard position, that takes some time, doesn't it? Yeah, it takes some time, of course. Was, or still is. Mike Peak drains the free. Carpenter on the catch in the forecourt. Quickly reverses it for Brown. Lobs it in the corner to Christmas. Fade away three. Pinballs off. And Teddy Allen will. Allen on the pitch out. Spins off the three. And the Aggies are now off, off two three, for 16 from three. Possession kept alive though. Here's Tillman, mid post extended. 
great cut by there, Jabari. When you throw it into the post like that, guys got to cut and they're going to be open. Inside, outside, Avery with three to shoot, has to shoot a fall away long two. And here Cowboys. 29 23, under four left here in the first half. And M State two for 16 on threes. Carpenter to the rim, Avery blocks it. But it's 29-25 Aggies here at home. Rice quickly into the front court for Downey Tillman. Here's Mario McKinney Jr. Should see a lot of minutes here tonight after not playing a ton in Myrtle Beach. I like the mismatch that Donnie has right now. See if they can get him the ball. McCants connects from three. So McCants himself, though, is two for three from three. He's shooting it well. That's another part of his game that's really gotten better is his shooting the ball. Really improved free throw shooting, too. Back when you were here, Joe, he was a 38% free throw shooter. And this year, he's seven for 10. Last year, he was good. He was also pretty good two years ago, much improved. And that's a muscle finish there for Johnny. Might have to carry him tonight. McCants in double figures, the first Aggie in double figures. Four for six shooting, two for three from three. Here's Carpenter, senior from Albuquerque, Cibola High School grad. Under 10 to shoot for him. Long range bomb for Brown. He's had a good first half. Senior Marcus Brown from Harker Heights, Texas. McCants again from three. And that is last touch by Teddy Allen. New Mexico Highlands shooting the ball. They're shooting the ball really well. Brown. Cowboys have made three straight from the field. Carpenter hard of the rim, and he finger rolls it home. They were straight after losing their season opener to a good Angelo State program by two. This is their second Division I opponent this year. This will count as an exhibition game for them. They lost to UNM. Early on before their regular season began. Great Slipping pass. is McCants. He catches the feed by McKinney, and Johnny McCants has 12. Strong finish here in the final minute of the first half. Adams right back to Barnes Topkins. He'll launch a three. That's an air ball. The Aggies will get it back. Good pass again. Johnny, Johnny's really doing a good job inside. And, and again, I think that's with final 45 seconds. McKinney with it here in the forecourt. LeVar Williams in the catch. Around the arc it goes to Teddy Allen. Only four in the first half for the Aggies' top score this year. Allen's averaging 15 a game. It's been Johnny's half. He has it poked away in a foul. And now we get to see where he has really practice. You got to get that extra time in the gym on your own. You got to come in and he jerky shooting free throws his first couple of years. He splits the pair. Final shot in the half here. McKinney will apply pressure on Carpenter. I like McKinney's defense. I like how he climbs up into guys like that and, and really makes it difficult for their other guards. Carpenter, finger roll, good, and one. Just That's just a tough finish. Uh, a little late there to take the charge, and, and he gets an and one. Free throw no good, Rice collects. Rice approaches midcourt, and it's touched out of bounds by Mark. McCants is open, McCants misses from just inside the center circle. So it's 37-30 from Myrtle Beach. Johnny McCants, a really good first half. 13 points, four rebounds. He's kind of been the savior so far for the Aggies. Right, right. He's doing it all. He's doing it from the outside. Here he is on the inside, getting a good, patient move, finishing at the rim. Um, but Highlands is just hustling. They're playing hard, and, and they're getting to these loose balls. The Aggies just got to wake up a little bit. Two Cowboys in double figures, 10 for Adams, 10 for Brown. The Aggie bench has been productive. Islands has shot the ball better from the arc than the Aggies have. We see a make here for McKinney, but the big statistics show is three for 19 from distance for NM State. Right, and, and, and that's been a common theme this year. Yeah, it's early in the season, but, but they've struggled to shoot the ball. There's 
a long range bomb for Brown. He has 10, he's made a couple of threes, four for six shooting for him. And New Mexico high, high limbs. So the two programs much different, but right now it's a one possession game. And the Cowboys will start with the ball in half two here in the road black jerseys. Sammy Barnes, Topkins, Stutters, finds Andre Adams, who had a good first half. Baseline, Carpenter, and it's a one-point game. In double figures with 10 each for the Cowboys. Division II school out of the Rocky Mountain Athletic Conference. Allen backing down his defender. He lost it. Sanchez with the interception. Reverse layup is no good for Carpenter. Offensive rebound for Sanchez, and it's stripped away by Donnie Tillman. Got to push the ball now, they got numbers. Rumbling down the lane is McNair, good patience, outside for Allen. Aggies reverse it for Rice from the corner. A pump fake and a drive, good step through and a finish for Jabari. That's nice, yeah, and that's where I like Jabari. I like Jabari catching on the second pass, pump fake, and getting to the basket. I think he really excels in that position. Aggie lead back to three. Rice is averaging 12 a game this year, 13 a game a season ago. Led the Aggies in scoring last season, second in scoring this year. That's a long dude. Ray Adams, he has a dozen. They're going to let Rice shoot it. Pump faked and missed. And the Aggies are now three for two. Highland's doing a good job of rebounding the ball. Adams on the catch. Stolen by McCants. Good defense. Zigzaggy down the floor is Rice. He finds Tillman. And Ronnie Hernandez, the official in, and Highlands could take their first lead since it was 2-0 Cowboys to start the game. Will McNair steps out, pokes it away, and he almost dunks it. He almost put on. But look at this, look at this. Palms the ball with one hand like he's. Miss Fires on the free throw. Will McNair would be a really good player. And folks around the cuffing and puffing as much as he was when he first got here. And he can play both ends of the ball now. Redshirt sophomore on the floor. He's a junior. Not available tonight. So the Aggies a little more thin in the front court. Brown miss for push. Aggies reverse it on the arc for Teddy Allen. Again, like to see him giving it down here to Will. He's going to make the pass. Inside, outside, Johnny McCants connects from three. Inside and then come outside. Johnny McCants had three made threes in the first five games this year combined. He has three in the first 23 plus minutes in this game. Contested three, good for Sam. Barnes Topkins was at Onyate for one year before he went to high school in Phoenix. Started his college career at Boston College. Allen on the spin, and that's a charge on Teddy Allen. That's Sean Buchanan-esque. No, oh. The Aggies. Two-point game, hard drive for Barnes Topkins. Around the arc it goes. Carpenter a clean look. McNair ran into him. Rice looking for McKinney, and he threw it behind him. It's been number eight on the Aggies, also eight on the Cowboys. Barnes Topkins for the lead. Another rebound for McCants, his fifth. Allen for three. Yes, sir. Right now? I think so. I think they need him to make some big shots. Uh, just be more aggressive. He doesn't have to score the ball. He just needs to be more aggressive. Fall away is no good for Brown. Grabbed underneath. Ball screen McNair. Allen bounces out for Rice. Defended by Carpenter. Got to give it to Big Wheel down there, see? Great positioning for McNair, and he was... McKinney lobs it in. He was looking for McCants, and he tossed it away. Barnes Topkins then fouled by Williams. You really want to see more progression here in the next couple of weeks for Mario McKinney from the season opener. And then in Myrtle Beach, McKinney only... Guys like Teddy and putting them in a better spot to be... Go Highlands. McKinney slides across. Five minutes in, half two. Two possession game. Johnny's got the mismatch here. 
See if we can get him on the pick and roll on a roll. Here's Tillman for the shoot for Teddy Allen. His second made triple here at half two. Well, you might be right, Joe. He might start to heat up here in a foul. Right, as, it, as Teddy hits the three right there. Johnny, he's got to be. He's got to be a vocal leader. He's got to be a leader by example. McKinney will initiate the offense. Here's LeVar Williams. They're trying to get McCants free down low. Here's Allen, head of the key. Tend to shoot for Teddy. LeVar Williams, two games ago, made four threes against Utah State. Three second half triples. Just like Zach Lofton used to do, Teddy Allen's trying to take over this basketball game offensively. I'd like to see him get to the basket right here, don't. Allen for three, he gets another. This one over. Once again, Andre Adams on the bench with Four fouls for Highlands. Behind the back feed, Johnny McCants, jackhammer. Great vision by McKinney. Good finish. Great steal. Great pass. Johnny's going to finish it for you. That's, that's what we like to see in transition buckets. The unsafe. I know this is a game that's very emotional of our William. Sophomore from Hyde Park, Massachusetts. Started his college career at NJIT, then he went to Indian Hills, same Juco as Ivan Aure Coachea. And Christmas will take a seat number 11 there in black for Highlands. Aggie lead is up to 14. This is a 12-2 scoring run of the previous 90 seconds for the Aggies. Allen again, this time out of the corner. Gets it back from McNair. Lobs it for Big Will. He couldn't quite catch it, and it's stolen by Bryce Sanchez. It's a tough pass. Elbow Good. jumper for Carpenter. Way short, it might have been altered by McNair. McNair on the catch, good finish. That is not easy at 280. That's where he's gotten so much better. He, he gets the stop on the defensive end and then goes down and finishes at the rim. Good steal. Steal for McKinney, and McKinney slams it in. Aggie Lee grows to 18, and a foul is called. Benson away from the ball. Way to be in those passing lanes, McKinney, and then just go finish. That's where he really excels is on defense. I think he can really play the point guard spot and really make it difficult for other guards. Well, and you I like to see the offense keep flowing, don't get stagnant. These are big minutes for Pryor. He's battled a hip flexor the entire season and off season for that matter. Playing in his first game as an Aggie. McNair with two on the timer, backdoor Tillman. Can he beat the clock? He can't draw iron. And it's a shot clock violation. In half two, he's an unconventional scorer, Joe. Yeah, he really is. He, he kind of has a funny hitch in his shot. Um, it goes in, as you can see here. But, but like you said, he's, he's unconventional. But he, as long as he takes a little bit lower to where he has been during the course of his career. Barnes Tompkins, a tough look from three. Offensive rebound, Sanchez, and a fresh 20 for the Cowboys. Down the lane, an off-balance floater is no good for Brown. Pryor, Rice, Avery, Tillman, and McNair. Chi-Chi had a couple of slam dunks in the first 20. Low post entry for McNair. Got to get some more cuts off of that. Adams defense, he has four personals. Rice needs to make something happen with four to shoot. Down the lane, outside. And a blocking foul is called on Barnes. Offense. As you can see there, Jabari trying to make something happen at the end of the clock, but just real stagnant. Highlands. 
And Rice pinballs off the free throw, but the Aggies get it back. Rice shoots a three right in front of Barnes Topkins. And Chi Chi Avery grabs the rebound. Cannot stress this enough. These are big minutes in the final 10 plus for a lot of guys who don't usually see a lot of minutes. Slips out to Carpenter. Peek blocks it away off the backboard, but they'll call him for. Yeah. Good foul. Good foul. For this season. And he's one for two tonight. A lineup in, and uh, their big man's got four fouls, so. Adams is in with 10 plus left and four personals. Cross court feed, open wing three. Chi Chi Avery misfires. And it's wiped off the window by Sanchez, and it was between him and Adams for his fifth. You don't see this very often. Incentive for rebounds Must over there be. at Highland. Pryor has it stripped away and stolen by. And that's what the Aggies can't do is start to turn the ball over, especially the guards. Long floater, short for Barnes Topkins. Hit off the window and then grabbed by McKinney. Rice will sling a pass. Transition three for Peak. Way too deep. Avery keeps it alive. Carpenter's behind him. He nearly poked it away. They gamble often. Rice is straight away triple. And the gamble doesn't work. I just think that they settle too much for threes. And that's screwed for him with 12 points and four rebounds today. As Jabari steps into this three. I like that three. I like that three better than a than a quick three off one pass. Been 12 deep this year again. I think they do. I don't think I don't think they're there yet um, as they swing the ball here. But but they got a lot of guys with a lot of good experience, JUCO experience. They got the Johnny, Johnny, you know Jabari, the older guys. Air ball for Avery and Peek was out of bounds as he tried to save it on the end line. This kind of competition so far this year, it's been a stiff schedule. Five guys, I think the starting five scores a majority of the points. There's another offensive rebound here by Teddy. But but you gotta rely on those guys that you can trust. And early in the season, it's, it's been the starting five. But, but a lot of opportunities tonight and here coming up for those guys coming off the bench. Fresh 20 for the Yagis on the offensive rebound. 18 now for Teddy Allen. Chris Giant always says, too, he says, I don't have in my mind going into a game, this guy's going to play 17 minutes, this guy's going to play 24. You need to earn those minutes and earn his trust during the course of a game. Right, great find by Jabari. Teddy, Teddy Allen is fifth made through. Time and time again. Christmas back in after his technical earlier. He catches on the kick out, and he barely grazes the rim on his three. No numbers, but Kant will attack anyway. Now he backs it out for Allen. Why not another? Little heat check right there. I like it. I like it. Offensive rebound for Peak. Now we'll reset and get a good shot. See if Johnny comes and sets a screen right here and pops for three. Rice will launch. Another one for Jabari. And New Mexico Highlands has missed 11 of their previous 12 from the field. And their offense has gone ice cold. That pass is deflected, and it will stay with the Cow. Um, and they come out and compete every night. I like what I've seen by them tonight. AIA, it's not just Division One. Right, at, at all those levels, everybody can play. That's a good pass right there. Everybody can play in the first half, and they really had to earn it. You walked on to the Aggie program. Was the biggest adjustment for you, Joe, in that first year, the speed of the game at this level? It was, the speed and the size, and just, just the overall talent, really. Like I said, everybody can really play basketball at this level. Rice gets Christmas in the air. He bounces out for peak. Awkward angle, he hits the side of the backboard. It was kicked by Johnson. No call, though. No look feet. Christmas. Rogers with the finish. That's going to be goal to three. Yeah, just just off balance. Um, you know, just got to kick that one out, get back on balance. He's been going to continue to be open. He played really well in the first game in Myrtle against Davidson. Give it to him. Aldown. Will was six for seven on free throws entering action tonight. 
most important stat was 15 rebounds. He needs to rebound well. And it's, it's been a breakout season for Will. Here's Mario Archuleta, who's in for the first time. Pecos, New Mexico native. And right unavailable tonight, COVID protocols. Long jumper is good for Brown as the Aggie head coach, and he would be the fastest to 100 wins. He would beat Lou Henson by one game. That's big. To beat Lou Henson yeah, that's big at time. anything is big. Congrats. The Aggies hang on to this. Congrats to Coach Jans and, and Johnny as well. Yes. Lamar Williams on a kick out three. Four threes against Utah State two games ago and some mop-up duty. Former big time scorer at Burke High School in Dorchester, Massachusetts. And, and those are the threes you want. You want to penetrate and kick. Good shot. First free throws in Idaho before coming to New Mexico High. That is the definition of well traveled. Under five left and half two. It's been a good half of the Aggies offensively and defensively for that matter. Williams would tend to shoot. He'll fire a contested three. Two strong senior at Burke High School in Dorchester. The all time leading scorer there. Began his college career at NJIT. Long rebound tracked down by McKinney. He's going to find Williams in transition. No good on the three. Pete got a hand on it. Here's Chi Chi Avery, gets Rogers in the air. Second effort for Chi Chi. No good again. Squirts out to Mike Peek and the Aggies will reset. It's a good effort right there. Let's see if we can get a good shot again here. Crashing the offensive glass, much better in this half. Chi Chi for three. Offensive rebound for McKinney. McKinney playing with a lot of confidence here in this second half. He looks a lot better. Six points, five helpers for McKinney. Has the ball right here. Gets a ball screen from Peak. Which it means to us and the fans really is who it means the most to. He's in town for Thanksgiving. Bryce is in grad school at years. A little bit. I don't know if I had a torch, but, but no, those two guys came in and did what they needed to do. You know, they can both shoot the ball great and, and took, took advantage of their opportunity. Aggie is also his first field goal attempt as an Aggie. Three is good for Christmas. He was always ready to go, wasn't he? Yeah, anything where there's a winner and a loser, he doesn't want to be the loser. So he's going to be up for those games, and he's going to compete. Pryor fakes the handoff to Cameron Crawford. We'll see if Crawford can get a shot up here in the final two plus. Mike Peek in the lane. Good move there for the former off. Rising up is Christmas. Misfires from three, and Peek is there. No Good look pass. feed down low. Chi Chi Avery wide open. That is that you love to see. And I think he can do that every night. I think he could do that every night. He looks real confident. Might have dropped off a little bit in Myrtle Beach. Didn't play a ton. Didn't play great, but he's been good tonight, and he might get that confidence back going into Tuesday. Right. And I, and that's just what comes with being the new guy. You know, a lot of guys that come back, Johnny and those. Miller will call a timeout to get a sub in. LeVar Williams will come back in for Pryor. Mike Peake is a really, really good three-point shooter. He was 46% last season for all minutes this year for Chris Giannis. Right, and, and that's all shooting is really. Shooting is all confidence. As long as they can get that, then we can get those percentages up and the Aggies might be real dangerous. Hard. He was 13 for 19 from three coming in. Williams hits the side of the backboard. Archuleta gets the miss. Leads the break for the Cowboys. Sanchez back door. Outside for John Montanez on the baseline. Wrap around pass and two for Eric. Three and double figures led by 21 for Allen for the Yankees. Teddy Allen can do when the offense goes south a little bit where he can just take over himself. We saw that early on in half two. Yeah, spraying it. I mean, good defense. Well, that'll make Chris Giants happy. 
And a couple of helpers. It was 37-34 at halftime. Crawford for three, and he drills it. The walk-ons, the walk-ons getting some. And he's trying to lay off the smile in the corner, but he'll crack it here shortly. Smile. He needs a smile. Smile. Have fun, man. <laughs> smile. The Aggies outscore the Cowboys 57-33 in half number two.